New Mexico State University is facing two new lawsuits surrounding the hazing scandal in the basketball program. News 13's Bella Olage shares details from one of the players who says he reported misconduct and guns in the locker room, but was silenced and kicked off the team. Bella. The hazing allegations that came out last year led, the, led to three NMSU men's basketball players facing felony sex crime charges. The victims who first came forward spoke out last year, saying their lives would never be the same. There's a part of me that hasn't been the same now, and I want people to know that. I've changed. Those are the words from one of the two former players who took legal action against the hazing and sexual assault they say they experienced at NMSU. Now, former NMSU basketball player Bull Cure is suing the university. Former head basketball coach Greg Heyer and the athletic director Maria Mocha for ignoring Cure's reports of the misconduct. The first of two new lawsuits. The suit claims two felons on the NMSU team were known to have and carry firearms, saying players took them into locker rooms, on buses to games, and on other campuses. It named former NMSU basketball player Mike Peake, who brought a gun on the bus to the game against UNM and ended up in a deadly shootout with a UNM student. While Cure never claims to be a victim of assault in the program, the lawsuit says he reported misconduct like pantsing and inappropriate touching to coach Hire, but was told he needed to stop being a, quote, tattletale. Cure says he was soon after kicked off the team and replaced by Kim Aiken, who, along with former players Dr. Bradley and DeShondre Washington, are facing criminal sex charges for the allegations. After the allegations came out in February of last year, Heyer has claimed he never knew of any misconduct. Within our program, we, pe we preach about the importance of representing the institution, our community, and themselves the right way. This second lawsuit against NMSU says an unnamed player was also subject to unwanted physical and sexual harassment by fellow teammates. We reached out to NMSU for comment. A spokesperson said they do not comment on pending litigation. Back to you. All right, thanks, Bella. In the first two lawsuits over the hazing and assault allegations, New Mexico State University paid out $8 million in settlement money. The school is also facing a lawsuit from another player and student managers.